Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Greg McCloskey, ForexLive.com. Today's date, May 16, 2023. I'm going to take a look at some of the uh, technicals that are driving the currency markets. Let's get going. If we look at the uh, euro versus uh, US dollar, the price action today has been uh, up and down. Uh, the price uh, in the European session didn't move higher, but we did uh, find uh, resistance in this uh, swing area right through here defined by uh, different uh, swing lows uh, right through here and then uh, that uh, pushed the price to the upside and then uh, took until uh, early, uh, late last week for the price to rebound or move back into this area. On Friday we broke below that level and uh, traded to our low on a Monday which got, went down to the 108.42 level before starting to rebound back to the upside and in trading here today what do we do we found sellers uh, within that swing area right through here and also just below the blue line that's this uh, 100 hour moving average it currently comes in at uh, 1.0907 so sellers against the 100 hour moving average sellers against the resistance area here the swing area right here for surprise well, gave the sellers the option option to sell. We had uh, retail sales come out this morning, which were uh, a little bit mixed up, uh, but we're seeing the Fed officials be a little bit more hawkish as well in their comments. Uh, that may be helping to push the uh, things like treasury yields up. The two-year yield is now up 2.3 basis points near session highs. The 10-year is up 2.4 basis points, also near highs. So we're seeing uh, the euro move down, the dollar move high, higher uh, in, in uh, trade trading, uh, currently trading around 108.80. Now uh, the price. Uh, so so what we know is that risk is uh, against the 100 hour moving average against the swing area. As long as the price remains below that level, the bias remains more to the downside. Uh, if I put this to the four hour chart here, you can see where the 38.2 percent retracement comes in. That is of this move up from the uh, March low right here to the high price that we saw in the uh, month of April. End of month, April and the uh, price uh, is a uh, move below that level in trading yesterday, uh, last week and also in trading yesterday before rebounding back to the upside. So getting back below the and staying below 38.2% retracement on 108.735 would be more bearish. Um, and then I uh, would start to look toward the uh, lows from yesterday and the lows uh, going back to this day right right here just a few weeks, a few well, five or so weeks ago, which comes in at 108.306. Uh, the two, the 100 day moving average, that's just uh, line right here and the 50% retracement of the same move to the upside uh, both come in around the 108.05 level that would be a key target on the downside for the euro versus US dollar if the momentum can continue in that direction but this area right here is resistance get below 38.2 and then open the door toward the low prices that we saw over the last five or so trading weeks and look toward that 100 day moving average let's look at the dollar versus yen and uh, we'll uh, look at the hourly chart on this uh, currency pair and uh, what we see uh, in trading here today uh, is that the uh, price uh, did hold the 50% retracement uh, of the uh, move up, uh, move down, I guess, uh, from this high right here to this low right here. That 50% 50 50 comes in 135.63, and the price low came down toward that level in trading yesterday. The price uh, low uh, found uh, willing buyers ahead of that level. So holding the 50% seems to be a little floor for here for the dollar versus yen as long as the price can remain above that that remains um, more positive now this yellow area right here uh, is going to be closer support in trading here today for uh, at least in the short term uh, it was developed back here where the price uh, found uh, resistance and then support against that level before moving higher and then we came back down to this area right through here and found the same support and resistance before moving lower uh, in trading uh, trading yesterday admittedly the price got a little sloppy around the level but but in trading and in trading today uh, we also moved above and below that level but watch this level 135.82 to the 94 as potential early support against 50 percent retracement if we hold that level and move uh, hold that level that would give the buyers more uh, confidence to push to the upside where uh, we might uh, look toward this area right through here this level near the 136 55 level as a level where uh, there uh, would be a target level to get to and through before we move up toward the 200 uh, day moving average that's this green line right here uh, which also is within a swing area uh, through through this area right through here it probably goes back in time as well so uh, 200 but the 200 day moving average is a key target on the top side uh, watching the 50 percent retracement watching the swing area in the short term here for the dollar versus yen let's take a look at the uh, strong versus us dollar if you look at the four hour chart here what is um sticks out to me from a technical perspective what i've been talking talking about lately in this 
chart um, is uh, this uh, swing area through here became a little bit of a support through here, 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 here. Uh, fell below that level, became resistance here, here last week's trading. And in trading uh, yesterday, the price came up toward that level, found willing sellers. And today, moved a little bit higher above the 100 uh, bar moving average on the four hour chart here, all through here, here, and uh, even last week's trading here. But this uh, swing area seems to be putting a lid on the pair at 125, 36 to 47. As long as the price can remain below those levels, that's more bearish uh, here keeps out of the extreme uh, watching the 100 bar moving average also as resistance on the top side on the downside um, well this swing area right through here is a little bit of a, uh, a level to uh, pay attention down near the 125 level and then we'll look toward the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart at 124 799 admittedly we moved below that level uh, in, in trading well we went up below it on friday and then on monday before breaking above it but we did find support against it here and uh, in uh, trading trading here today, as I said, we went below that 200 bar moving average. But getting back below that level will be more bearish for the sterling versus U.S. dollar. Finally, I'll take a quick look at the uh, dollar versus Canada. Uh, we did have uh, the uh, CPI data come out stronger than expected, and that is uh, pushing the Canadian dollar to the upside as concerns about uh, coming off the conditional pause from the Bank of Canada, maybe pushing the Canadian dollar higher. Uh, we are uh, below this cluster of uh, resistance uh, defined by the moving averages, 100-hour moving average, 200-day moving average, 200-hour moving average all come within this area as long as the price can remain below that level that's more bearish. Uh, and this uh, swing area uh, going back in time, you can go back to over over here, this area right here, watch the yellow area yellow area right here we are currently in if we break below 134.04 that would be more bearish for the dollar versus canada so there you have a look at some of the major currency pairs my name is greg michaloski good fortune with your trading bye bye now